Good morning. I just woke up. These are my PJs, a t-shirt from Cairo that I got when I was there last. Some shorts from Everlane. Coffee. In the mornings, I drink a double espresso. It's called Chiaro from Nespresso in these little ceramic mugs. And I actually just finished this one. And I'm gonna pace myself before I have a second because endometriosis. Hmm, I guess we have a water shut off. Happens quite consistently in New York City, I must say. Okay, so I'm in my closet and I'm trying to pick something to wear. I kind of have my wardrobe categor categorically uh, organized. It's definitely a little bit um, mayhem in here, but it is organized chaos, I promise. I'm going to wear this top from Eminem Paul. I love a sheer turtleneck to shoot content in and to just layer with throughout the day. This may sound strange, but I do pick my top of the day, depending on if I'm going to shoot content or not, because actually different colors that you wear on your clothing will actually interfere with the white balance um, on your camera. So I pretty much always just wear a cute top and I'll probably keep my PJs on for a while till I decide what actual clothes I'm going to wear outside. Okay, for jewelry, I'm going to go for these little Jennifer Fisher hoops, these ones today, little dainty ones so that they don't compete with the design of the top. And this is where all of my makeup and my jewelry lives that I use on a daily basis. I had this built from an amazing, amazing contractor called Miguel. He has a company called Create Renovations and I love this piece that we did. It basically it fits flush to the wall of where the bathroom and the tumble dryer and the washing machine is. It's great. And what I really love about it is how when I'm not working, I can literally just close the doors, tuck the desk chair away and Close for business. We picked this color, me and Jen, the interior designer that helped on this project based on this wall. We don't own our apartment, we rent. And this wall is this like wild kind of fabric wall that's kind of nice. And I like to shoot against this sometimes and create content as that is my backdrop. But I really wanted the color of this cabinet to sort of fit in a nice sort of color story with that. Start my day by just getting my brow makeup on. It's like if my brows are done, everything else is easier. I don't know why. It's like I don't like to do my makeup without my brows being done. So brows first, everything else second. I'm a big, big believer of putting your brows on before skincare because I think that it actually makes it go on better. Products that I'm using are from Nabla. One is a brow liner in natural brown and the other one is just a brow gel. And it just gives me the easiest, quickest application on the sort of style that I like to do my brows, which is sort of that microbladed micro look sort of. I did microblading and I didn't really love it. I didn't like the way like I found it faded too fast for me and it was quite painful and I also don't mind putting my brows on every day because it gives me actually more control than what shape I want to do. Sometimes last week for example I did a Pam Anderson inspired makeup tutorial and I needed thin thin brows for that so having sparse eyebrows is actually kind of good. I am a huge list keeper. I can't not keep lists. It helps keep me accountable on my productivity. It helps to make me not procrastinate. And I just love the feeling of taking a pen and scoring through this day in the life video right here, which I'm shooting currently. I'm gonna shoot some content and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this is the app Video Shop and I love this because it allows for me to, this is so meta right now because I'm shooting Video Shop on this phone but I'm actually using this phone to show you how to use it. Whoa. Basically, I press record, I apply product, I might rub in the product, and then I stop. I edit that piece, and I kind of take what I want from that piece just by simply I dragging those three little buttons. Um, you can oh, trim, yeah. you can cut, and you can split, and I can take a bit out, or I can shorten it. I basically film each product separately, and I film the necessary part of that product being applied. I am essentially editing as I go and creating little mini clips that then will make a 30, 60, minute and a half long video, which I then save down in 4K, and then I've got it to upload on whatever platform I want. I love video shop. At around half past nine or 10, I chat with April. She's currently unavailable. She's my manager and one of my best friends, so... She'll call me back momentarily, I'm sure. I'm still waiting for April to ring me back. I thought I would take the time to do my makeup and I used the Video Shop app to create a Reels, a 30 to 60 second Reels, because you can actually have multiple tabs open at the same time of different projects that you're working on, which is the thing that I love about it the most. I also have this little clicker that I found on Amazon, which allows me to press play and stop. It's about 10.30, it's time for my second cup of coffee. Come on, Sophia, let's go. Can I get two flat whites with a little brown sugar with almond milk, please? Thank you. Oh, hi. 
Bye. Let me see your face. Why are you hiding? <gasps> Okay, part of my daily routine is coming to the Real Real and checking out all of the cute new things that they have in store. For anybody in the UK that doesn't know, the Real Real resale store that sells sort of pre-loved, very, very good condition designer items for most of the time cheaper. For example, these Chanel boots and all the bags. I'm sorry, we're closed, open at four. This is Barbalo, this is Maurizio, he's the pizza chef here, he's very talented. Thank you. Brett is his baby. Okay, so the menu at Babalu is the most delicious pasta, the most delicious pizzas, but I am gonna get a salmon, which is on the specials. Actually, I'm gonna go tell Chef Pino my order myself. Ciao Pino, posso il salmon por favore? This is Chef Pino of Barbaloo, Brooklyn. What are you making, Pino? Spaghetti. Wow, homemade spaghetti. Homemade spaghetti. If you ever want to come to Babalu, Brooklyn, it's right at the Bergen Street station on the corner of Smith and Bergen. Right here. So Katie, tell us what's in your bag. A charger because I'm always running on like 10% battery. Next up, a little fragrance. This is a rollable Glossier U, just in case I'm about to go to an event in the city and I need a little bit of a freshen up. My wallet, this is a little Fendi uh, card wallet that has my credit cards in it, a little $100 bill just in case I need it, and my insurance card. When I travel outside of the house after a full of like a makeup moment, I only pretty much ever travel with a lip liner and the lipstick that I'm wearing, a lip balm, and a compact mirror so that I can apply it on the go my Invisalign case and some toothpicks so that I can floss in between being out and about. A glasses wipe, another Invisalign case because I clearly didn't go through this bag before I added new content to the bag, which is absolutely not like me. There's actually two other lipsticks in my bag, which again, is something that I never really do, but I think I hadn't really changed my bag much and another lip balm. And I actually think there's another lip balm in here. Oh, and another lipstick because apparently I'm lazy this week. Hair tie always. There is two eyeliner pencils from CoverGirl that I got from CVS the other day to try. My insurance card that wasn't in my wallet and the glossy metro card from the event the other day. And that is the contents of my bag. Wow, look at that perfect piece of salmon with capers. Grazie Pino. So I've had a little bit of a slow afternoon today. Every day is different in my routine um, and in my schedule, depending on what I've got going on. I unboxed a bunch of products and put them away. And now I'm probably gonna just shoot a couple pieces of content before I go out to an event tonight, which I will take you along with me. And when I'm working from home, I love to set an ambience. So this is a candle that's burning in the bathroom. This was a lot more cluttered earlier and now it's a little bit more streamlined. I had a little arranging of my closet. And I made a giveaway bag of things that I no longer need in my assortment because I have doubles. Typically on days off, I would be out on this thing if the weather was nice. I'm obsessed with my bike so, so, so much. It's an electric bike from Van Moof. That black thing in the middle of the bars is actually a battery, which I typically have never had to actually use. I even took this bike once from Brooklyn, from downtown Brooklyn, all the way to 71st Street for a facial, and I didn't even need to use the backup battery. Got there and back on more than enough from what the bike naturally gives you. So today I had a bit of a lazy day. I felt a bit bleh, a bit depleted. So I did have a little bit of relax on the couch and tonight I'm going out to an event and I'm wearing this outfit, big baggy pants, cute top from Coffs, vintage leather jacket and tabbies. You might hate them, but I love them. <laughs> been gone for about an hour and I'm already home. I'm gonna wash my face. Let's wash off this day. One of my favorite cleansers. I pour a little into my palm, close it back up, put it right in the cupboard, and literally massage everything off. It's kind of like lemon curd texture. And then I wet a washcloth. And then I wet a washcloth. And I wring it out. And then I basically wipe everything away and it takes seconds. You see? Perfect. Clean. Ready for your next skincare step. I'm now going to use Seated Queen Restoring Face Oil. I really love how this makes my skin so, so soft. And I just sort of sweep it on. And then 
slather my lips in lip balm and they go to bed. This is my current vanity lip balm, the fresh coconut lip balm. And that, my friends, is about it. I'm actually gonna take my trays out because I'm about to eat some food. We ordered sushi. I will show you it when it gets here. I'm in some comfy clothes, my Everlane shorts, and this oversized, well, it's not really oversized, just a relaxed fit Everlane shirt that I just bought and it came in the mail. I'm into brown, big time these days. I'm gonna sit and watch TV in this for a while. Good one. You know, I'd love to fight with you, but everybody else might not want their dinner ruined by our bullshit. Right. We're fighting because he's an alcoholic. The reason? I might slap.